This is Dr. R. Anil Kumar, and I am pleased to welcome you for this second session of online classes. I welcome you for the complete tutorial on creating sari designs. So without wasting any time let us proceed further. Click on File and New. In the New dialog box set the width to 591 pixels. 591 pixels is equal to 5 cm. Height to 3000 pixels. Resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Type the name as border and click OK. Click on View and Extras to remove the grid lines in the document. Now a page to the size of the border design is created. Click the Custom Shape tool in the Tools palette. Select a motif for the border from the Shape drop-down list. Click Ctrl plus plus key in the keyboard to zoom in and by pressing space in the keyboard brings in the hand tool. Click and move to the top holding the space key. Hold shift key in the keyboard and drag from the top left corner to create a single repeat of the motif. We can change the color of the motif in the fill option in the properties bar. Note that in the layers palette a new shape one layer is created. Right click the shape one layer and select duplicate layer. Click OK. Now another layer named as shape one copy appears above shape one layer. Using the Move tool move the overlapping layer and place below the first motif. In the Layers palette press Shift key in the keyboard and select both Shape 1 and Shape 1 copy layer. Right click and select Duplicate layer and click OK. Now two more layers named Shape 1 copy 2 and Shape 1 copy 3 appears above Shape 1 copy. Keep both the new layers as selected and using the Move tool move the layer object downwards in the background. We need two more layer objects to fill in the document. So now click the Shape 1 Copy 3 and Shape 1 Copy 2 layers. Right click and duplicate layer and click OK. Two more layers named Shape 1 Copy 4 and Shape 1 Copy 5 is created. Using the Move tool, move the overlapping objects in the document downwards to fill the white background. Press Ctrl plus minus in the keyboard to zoom out in the document. Click on Image, Mode and Indexed Color. Click OK to flatten the layers. In the Indexed Color dialog box select Local Perceptual in the Palettes option and click OK. Again go to Image, Mode and select RGB Mode. Now we need to apply the weave pattern to the design. Using the magic wand select the red color. Click on Edit and Fill. Select a weave pattern from the custom pattern. Keep the blending mode to darken and click OK. Go to Select and Inverse to reverse the selection. Click on Edit and Fill. Select a weave pattern from the custom pattern. Keep the blending mode to normal and click OK. Right click and select deselect to remove the selection. Now we have created the border design. Press Ctrl plus plus in the keyboard to zoom in to see the weave pattern. Let us apply the border to the body. First we need to create a document to the body size. Click File and New. In the New dialog box type the name as Body Design. Width to 5000 pixels. Height to 3000 pixels. Resolution to 300 pixels per inch and click OK. Now a new document with the name Body Design is created. Click the Border Design tab towards the workspace to make both the documents visible in the workspace. 
Using the Move tool, click the border design and drag inside the body design document. Place the border design to the left corner of the body design page. Once again using the Move tool click the border design and drag to the right corner of the body design page. Now move back the border design tab to the top to place it in its original position. Click the body design page. Select the background layer and using the magic wand select the white background. Go to edit and fill. Select a weave pattern we had already created. Keep the blending mode to normal and click OK. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. The pattern name dialog box with the name body design appears. Click OK. Click on File and Save as BodyDesign.jpg and click OK. Open a new document. Using the Move tool, click the border design and drag inside the body design document and place to the left corner of the body design page. Once again using the Move tool click the border design and drag to the right corner of the body design page. Now move back the border design tab to the top to place it in its original position. Click the body design page. Select the background layer and using the magic wand select the white background. Go to Edit and Fill. Select a weave pattern with motif design we had already created. Keep the blending mode to normal and click OK. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. The pattern name dialog box with the name Pattern 23 appears. Click OK. Go to File and save as Sorry Design 2.jpg and click OK. Open a new document. Width is 5000 pixels, height is 3000 pixels, resolution to 300 pixels per inch and click OK. Using the Move tool, click the border design and drag inside the body design document and place to the left corner of the body design page. Once again using the Move tool click the border design and drag to the right corner of the body design page. Now move back the border design tab to the top to place it in its original position. Click the Untitled 2 tab, go to Image and Duplicate. This will now open a duplicate image with the name Untitled 2 copy. Click OK, select the Untitled 2 tab and using the magic wand click on the white background. Go to Edit and Fill. Select an all over motif weave pattern we had already created. Keep the blending mode to normal and click OK. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. The pattern name dialog box with the name body design appears. Click OK. Click on File and save as Sorry Design 3.jpg and click OK. Now click the Untitled 2 copy, go to Image and Duplicate. Click OK. Click the Untitled 2 copy page and using the magic wand select the white background. Go to Edit and Fill.
Select an all-over motif weave pattern we had already created. Right-click and select Deselect to remove the selection. Go to Edit and Define Pattern and click OK. Select the Untitled 2 Copy 2 page and using the magic wand select the white background. Go to Edit and Fill. Select a spot motif weave pattern we had already created. Go to Edit and Define Pattern and click OK. Now we shall learn how to reduce the size of the border design. Select the border design page. Go to image and image size. The image size dialog box appears with the dimensions we had set initially while creating the border design. Keep the check mark active in the constrained proportion and change the width to half the size. Note that the height will also change to half its size because the constrained proportion is active. Click OK. Now the size of the border image has been reduced to half. Click on File and New. Using the Move tool, click the Border Design and drag inside the Body Design document in place to the left corner of the Body Design page. Again move the border to the left corner and position below the top border. Once again move the border to the bottom empty space and complete the left border design. Now move back the border design tab to the top to place it in its original position. In the layers palette, select layer 1, layer 2 and layer 3. Right click and select duplicate layer and click OK. Now we can see that three more layers with name layer 1 copy, layer 2 copy and layer 3 copy is created. Using the move tool move the overlapping objects in the document to the right and position in the right border. Now we have created a small border design. Click on Image and Duplicate and click OK. Now a duplicate copy titled Untitled 1 copy is created. In the Untitled 1 document select the background layer using the magic wand. Go to Edit and Fill, now select a spot motif weave pattern and click OK. Now let us learn how to reduce the body design. Keep the selection active. Press Ctrl plus T in the keyboard. Click the top right corner control point and move towards inside and press Enter in the keyboard. Now the body design pattern size has been decreased. Press Ctrl plus plus in the keyboard and select a motif using rectangular marquee tool. Go to Edit and Define Pattern, type the name as Small Motif and click OK. Now click the Untitled 1 copy page, select the background layer and using the magic wand click on the white background. Go to Edit and Fill, select the small motif pattern we had created and click OK. Go to File and Save as Sorry Design 4.jpg and click OK. Now go to File and in the new dialog box set the width as 5000 pixels, height as 10000 pixels, resolution to 300 pixels per inch and click OK. Click on View and Extras to remove the grid line. 
Go to edit and fill and select a sari design pattern we had created. This will fill the pattern to the whole document. Using the rectangular marquee tool select the Palu region in the sari. Press Ctrl plus C to copy the selection and go to File, New and click OK. A new document to the size of the selected Palu area is now created. Click the untitled one page and press Delete in the keyboard. In the Fill dialog box select Background Color as Contents Use and click OK. Now the white color is filled to the Palu region. Now open the Untitled 2 page. Select the rectangle shape and create a rectangle in the top corner. Click the custom shape and select a motif. Click and drag inside the background. Press Ctrl plus T to select the motif. Rotate the motif and press Ctrl plus plus to zoom in. Hold space key in the keyboard and move to the top of the page. Adjust the motif's shape and position to the top corner. Duplicate the shape 1 in the layers palette and complete the entire row using move tool. Now place a rectangle below the motif. Place another rectangle and fill it with a dark green color. Place another rectangle above rectangle 3 and fill it with black color. Place another rectangle above rectangle 3 and fill with orange color.
Now select a shape from custom shape press shift and drag to create a repeat. Duplicate the custom shape in the layers palette and produce four copies of the shape. Now in the Layers palette, right-click on the background layer and select Flatten Image. Using the magic wand select each color separately and go to Edit and fill a weave pattern to each color separately. Select the background and apply a weave pattern to the background. Click the Untitled 2 document and move inside the workspace. Using the Move tool move the design to the Palu area of the Sari design. Position back the Untitled 2 page in its place. Now the Sari design is completed. Press Ctrl plus plus key in the keyboard to zoom in the document to see the design clearly. Go to File and save the file as JPEG image and click OK. That's it for now. Till now we have been learning on how to create motif patterns, how to reduce and scale the motif patterns, creating border design, creating palu design and finally completed a whole sari design. You can use your skill in designing more complicate design patterns utilizing the skill you have learned. Thank you all for listening to me. I will again come to you with another useful session on textile design. Till then this is Dr. R. Anil Kumar, Assistant Professor in Textiles and Apparel Design, Periyar University, Salem, India. Bye-bye.